until Mr. Abe assumed uh, office, uh, I mean, during for, for his second premiership. So there was a trend and there was a willingness to decentralize Kasumi Gaseki and actually give more power to the local uh, local governments. Once Mr. Abe came into power, he actually reversed that trend and he tried to centralize the power as much as possible. So uh, basically, uh, that power was concentrated in Kasumi Gaseki and then there was a very tight control uh, of uh, the bureaucrats by the politicians during the eight years of, uh, you know, his eight years in office. So do you think that this is a new trend, once again, a reverse one? This decentralization, because as you say, it is inevitable. So this is a trade-off. But uh, since the ministries are not in Tokyo, they are not immediately next to the parliament. There will be definitely more power going back to the bureaucrats. So what is your take on this before we finish for today? Well, I think um, part of part of that push uh, to dissimulate the power in Tokyo was a consequence of, of the LDP losing power and the voice of the people, you know, in this this backlash against the LDP um, taking prominence. And then once uh, first Mr. Aso and then Mr. Abe came into power and then Mr. Abe succeeded himself, uh, you know, several times as prime minister, um, the whole drive here is to keep power within the LDP, successfully keep it in the LDP. And not only that, but yes, there's always this drive by the um, the bureaucracy to bring this power to the bureaucrats. They had that during the 80s and the 90s. And as a uh, uh, as a, a drive to um, take that power and distribute it among the members of the parliament, that occurred for about 15 years. And then the uh, drive to concentrate that power, not in the uh, lower house, but more inside the LDP headquarters. So the LDP headquarters became very strong, very powerful. And the transition that we have right now is moving that power base from the LDP and from the lower house, but into the prime minister's office. So I, I think that there's, yes, this concentration of, of political power will remain in, in, uh, in Japan, not necessarily Kasumi Gaseki, Nakata Cho more specifically, and uh, more and more increasingly to the prime minister's office. They want I think the design is they want the prime minister of Japan to be on the same footing as the president of the United States, the president of South Korea, somebody who who really dominates um, how the country is being run. The prime minister has that uh, perception, th that kind of marketing. But the fact is that um, he's a he's a, a prime minister. So he, he reports to uh, the parliament. Um, and, for example, when Mr. Uh, Kishida came back from um, Ukraine, he, the first thing he had to do was report to the, the entire assembled uh, diet on what he did in Ukraine, how he did it, what he was uh, attempting to achieve there and that sort of thing. So it's, it's not quite like being the president and calling the shots. And so I think, um, yes, the, the power of the Japanese prime minister will increase and the power of the, the prime minister's office will continue. It's, it's already uh, in full swing there.